are we bored of the supermarket beer drops? It's a question I'm going to ask today. I've got review things. Again, and welcome back to Scott Reviews Things in the podcast area of the back bedroom today. Um, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, thank you to everybody that's um, supported the channel and through the rebrand. It's really, really, really um, taking me a bit by surprise in all honesty. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, branching out the goal on, on my lonesome. It wasn't an easy decision to make, but... Here we are, pressing forward. It's February, so we've had some new beers into... We had some in Sainsbury's, didn't we? We had... What do we have? I'm trying to think. <laughs> trying to think. We had... There was a Northern Monk beer. <coughs> I picked up... What did I pick up out of... Oh, I picked up Hadouken, the IPA from Tiny Rebel, which I thought was pretty decent, to be fair. Um, there are better beers out there, but it, it did the job for me. And there were other, other bits and pieces as well. Uh, Morrison's have just put some new Brewdog beers into their supermarket. You've got King Crush, and you've got the one that I've done, which is... Uh, what's it called? Lucky Break, which I thought was pretty decent, New England IPA. And then I saw yesterday... So this is the 11th of February, Sunday the 11th of February today. I saw that Tesco are about to, or they have, as of yesterday, I, know I saw some in there yesterday. Uh, they're about to redo their craft beer range. Now, for me, I don't know about for you guys, I used to get really excited about these beer drops. Obviously, being a predominantly beer review channel, when these beer drops hit, they're good for views. They're good for channel growth. They were, they were good for views. They were good for channel growth. And they, they did a job. So we, as a beer reviewer, used to look forward to these these drops so you get about five or ten new beers it will give you good content for for a good couple of days a couple of weeks and i don't know about you i'm not excited by them anymore don't i used to be one of the ones i'm, I'm no and i'm sure he won't mind me saying this uh Simon from Real Ale Craft Beer labeled me mr p the elusive mr p that liked to get things out before others and there's some truth to that, to be fair, because you've got to be on the ball, um, you've, you've got to be relevant, uh, and you've got to do things that help drive your channel. Simon's obviously taken a step back, and so have I. I used to go out and get all of them. I pick and choose what I pick up these days. Obviously, money's tighter than it's ever been. We all haven't got the money in our pockets that we used to have. I'm just trying to find the list of new beers that have hit... Oh, here it is. I've got it here now. They're about to hit a Tesco near you. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking there's nothing in it that makes me excited. I don't know. I had the choice yesterday of a couple that I could have picked up. I didn't pick up any of them up. I think there was th three of these new ones. And I'm wondering where we're at now with the supermarket beer drops. I know that I will pick up probably a couple, but I won't pick them up, all of them up. I'm wondering where you guys sit with this as well. This is what this video is about. So I'm going to tell you what's going to be about to drop into um, a Tesco near you. And I haven't got the full details. I've got a list of beers that are going to drop in. I've seen a couple of them and I've seen other bits and pieces of others. And I'm, into, I'm going to probably put this on screen as well. So we've got Northern Monk. Fruit Twist IPA. I saw that yesterday. 
it wasn't for me. It, I don't, it doesn't look adjunct. These Some of these look quite adjunct heavy, which I know the supermarket beers tend to do. But so we've got Northern Monk Fruit, Fruit Twist IPA. Doesn't fill me with inspire or inspire me with confidence. Northern Monk Tropical World. It's quite a lot of Northern Monk in here. Northern Monk, a new tank petrol. So there's a new tank petrol from the Faith in Futures range from uh, Northern Monk. The last one I didn't do on the channel. I have had it. I thought it was really good. I think they've changed some of the hops in this one. But that's four pound a can. So that's on the, the north side of these of these beers. There's a Northern Monk Horde, which I think is a hazy IPA. Then you go into Beavertown. Beavertown Sun God. I don't know what that is. You got Beaverbound Loop Lloyd. So Loop Lloyd was a 330ml can. They just put it into a 440ml can. Uh, you got Vault City Pe uh, Peach Iced Tea. I'm not interested in that. Uh, Vocation Cherry Sour. I'm not interested in that. And then you got some Four Pure beers. Four Pure Pomegranate. Four Pure Passion and, uh, Passion Fruit and Lime. Four Pure Mango. You got the Brew Dog beers that I'm assuming they're going to fall into all of the big big chains now. So you've got King Crush. You've got Post Punk. I think Post Punk is only available in a four pack. And it's basically a tropical version of Punk IPA that nobody fucking wants. You've got Lucky Break, which is the Haya Cat one. That's all right. Um, you've got a beer from Buxton called Hatchet, which is a lower alcohol version of their Axe Edge. You've got a beer from North Brewing, which is Another World. And you've got the Cronenberg, Cronenberg Blanc, which I think I did last week. And it's done quite well, actually. And that's been, that's been, that was around years ago. So looking at that list of beers from the new Tesco drop, of which it says there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm not interested in any of them. There's also a haze, is it a hazy? I can't remember, I've seen something else that I saw. Hazy, Green King Hazy IPA. Well, that'd be going down the sink, I would have thought. Um, but I'm wondering what your thoughts are on this. Are you um, a little bit tired out of the Tesco's and Morrison's and Sainsbury's beer drops and the Asda ones? Asda did a fair job, actually, last year with, it, with their drops. But it's something that... As a channel that's reviewed a lot of beer over the year, um, there's nothing within that new Tesco drop that excites me. And that worries me as well, because as a channel, we're supposed to... And there's a lot of channels gone, actually. All the, pe the, the guys, there were a lot of guys, we've lost... I know Barry's back, all the beer, no idea. Good to see uh, Baz back. Um, obviously, Dean doesn't do a great deal anymore. So a lot of the channels that exploded during lockdown and other bits and pieces, they've largely cut their content down. Um, I do other things as well as beer. Um, but the main driver of the channel has been beer for the last five years. There's nothing in that Tesco drop that excites me at all. And I'm wondering how you guys feel about it. Uh, no doubt I'll pick up. I saw the Fruit Twist um, IPA. I saw the new Tank Petrol one. Um, I've seen King Crush by Brewdog in two or three places and I don't want to pick it up because it's a mango. Is it a mango and passion fruit ice cream IPA? Um, milkshake IPA, I just think it's going to be terrible. So, yeah, the, the Cronenberg Blanc I liked. Um, and at £5 for four on a club card, I could do a whole video on club card prices. Uh, I think it's an absolute scam. Um, but yeah, interested in your thoughts. So these beers are dropping in this weekend, uh, the 11th, uh, 10th and 11th of February. New beers into Tesco's. Wondering what your thoughts are on it. Leave your comments down below. Are you completely meh as I am with them? Um, obviously, I like to review stuff that you can pick up yourselves, which is where this channel's really at these days. Supermarket beer reviews for you guys and the odd um, decent beer here and there. Has the fact that the supermarkets, they're obviously pinching the breweries for money. Uh, so the breweries are making next to nothing out of these beers anyway. Has that affected um, your 
thoughts on Supermarket Beer. Interested in your thoughts? Um, let us know in the comments. If you got this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. And I'll see you very soon.